In this video, I want to share with you uh, various clicks I got about uh, God and Paramashiva. So stay tuned, let us get more clarity and realign ourselves to the right context. Om Bhairava Rudraya Maha Rudraya Kala Rudraya Kalpanda Rudraya Veera Rudraya Rudra Rudraya Kora Rudraya Kora Rudraya Martanga Rudraya Anda Rudraya Pramanda Rudraya Chanda Rudraya Prachanda Rudraya I welcome you with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. This video, God and uh, Paramashiva. So, I want to share uh, obviously a few things Swamiji has uh, gifted and uh, shared with me, with us, through discourses and all that. And also, uh, my personal experience, especially uh, being on social media and the various kinds of responses I got and uh, the different kinds of delusions I kind of realized people were cherishing regarding all this and how Hinduism, Sanatana Dharma has the answers for uh, this kind of delusion in, a, uh, in order to allow us to raise ourselves to higher frequencies and greater understandings of the cosmos of the universe and uh, Paramashiva. So, first thing first, Swamiji puts intense emphasis on Paramashiva is oneness, not one. So the Abrahamic uh, traditions, there are various types of Abrahamic traditions, and the Abrahamic traditions are basically teaching us God is one, and that's all. And they also teach you He cannot be achieved. The very idea of achieving God is uh, is wrong. It is sin. And um, in Hinduism, we know Paramashiva. The um, God is ultimate. He is Paramashiva, Parashakti, Brahman, Paramapada. He is the the is the ultimate. And various saints and masters and avatars of the past have revealed to us various Mahavakyas, such as Aham Brahmasmi. You are Brahman. Tattvamasi, you are that. Shivoham, you are Shiva. Paramashivoham, you are Paramashiva. So like that, um, these great powerful cognitions are shared with us and uh, it can seem quite confusing, okay? Why some people believe God is beyond everything, He cannot be reached and uh, if you think of reaching Him, it is sin and the other side is saying... Um, Hinduism, I should say, or Sanatana Dharma, the Dharmic religions, the Dharmic traditions are basically saying that uh, the purpose of life is to realize God within, uh, with the human body. Um, actually, in Hinduism, it, we are very clear that the very purpose for which we choose the human body, which is a great gift, having the human body is a, is a blessing. There are so many different types of bodies that can be assumed, and assuming a human body is a gift. And the purpose of assuming a human body on this plane, Bhuloka, it is to realize, uh, is to become enlightened, to get enlightenment, to realize that you are Paramashiva, you are the ultimate. You are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not bound by anything in the universe, in the, in the manifested existence. But, um, like I said, many people in the West, or many thought currents, Abrahamic traditions, um, they come forward and say, even if you say, um, I am Paramashiva or Swamji is an avatar, right away, the response they get is, oh, if he's an avatar, why he doesn't do that, right? And it's a very uh, aggressive response, obviously, that you get when you make these statements. Many people, for various reasons, their own reasons, uh, I don't know, but they decide to respond in a very aggressive manner. And... Um, what I kind of clicked with is that one of the big uh, brainwashing that we got or misbelief that we got is that God is going to intervene. 
I think it comes from the movie industry. Swamji talks about the entertainment cult industry, where it shows, you know, all kinds of various superheroes which just interfere with something and destroys the evil. And this very thought current is glorified a lot in the entertainment industry cult. And uh, people get brainwashed with this idea and they think, oh, that is God. So if there's any problem in life, uh, well, that's because of God. <laughs> and if God exists, then he should intervene. Or God is something immaterial, which is just, you know, something in the mind or whatever that you can kind of relate to if you're spiritual or you don't relate to if you're not. And there's no reality to it. It's, there's nothing experiential to it. It's just more of an idea and a belief, a blind belief towards a principle which um, is only non-manifested. But um, in uh, Swamiji clearly shared that Paramashiva, obviously, he is an independent intelligence. He is the only Purusha, the only the source of, of, of life, is the super consciousness, which is the source of everything. Everything manifested, everything non-manifested, and everything which is beyond the manifest and the unmanifest, and also known as the unborn. And um, Paramashiva does not interfere unless you consciously decide that you want Paramashiva to interfere. Paramashiva gives us the freedom. We have the freedom. The power of creation is given to us as human beings in the human body. And whatever we do with that power is respected. Any being given the free will as freedom to choose to be in delusion or move towards liberation. Even I do not interfere in your freedom to be in delusion. So in a way, your delusion, your decision to be in delusion, the freedom you have to be in delusion is the only thing which can stop me showing what I want to show you. Your freedom to be in delusion only can stop you from seeing my true form, my existence as I am. So understand, I do not interfere in your freedom to be in delusion. But the moment you decide to be out of delusion, I don't give up on you. I do not forsake you. If you start to feel that you are not creating properly, means that the context from which you create is deluded and therefore you create karmas for yourself and problems which you no longer want to experience, you want to get out but you don't know how to get out, then you will pray and you will start the spiritual path towards Paramashiva and a requesting him to, uh, to, for him to intervene in your life and break this karmic cycle and give you the ultimate understanding, the buddhi, that will allow you to be in the right context in order to create. When you create from the right context, you are Paramashiva. When you create from the wrong context, you are deluded. But for that, the experience of Paramashiva, the Paramashivoham experience has to be gifted. And it can be experienced in various ways. And that is one of the main reasons why Guru is so important in the tradition. Paramashiva says in the scriptures that he comes in the life of a sincere seeker in the form of Guru. So, Guru is, um, allows the disillusion to happen. Guru is an opportunity for the seeker to um, practice surrendering, to start to infuse more life, time and energy in this dimension of life, in this kind of decision making which is surrendering. You have to surrender your wrong context uh, in order to empty yourself and receive the right context, which is the experience of the ultimate, the experience of Paramashivoham, I am Paramashiva. And, uh, and people, they don't understand that and they don't want to understand that for various reasons. You know, uh, it is not, Paramashiva will not interfere. He will not interfere uh, when things are there. And, uh, and we feel, and the people who are on social media feel that, um, if he does not interfere, then he is not Paramashiva. That's not ultimate. So there's a what I kind of realize is there's a big depression behind it. Um, individuals who believe that 
uh, Shiva has to uh, interfere whether he wants it or not um, are actually cherishing a very deep level of depression where they don't want to engage with life. A lot of life negative cognitions are cherished inside these beings and, uh, and these negative cognitions are making them decide not to go towards seeking, towards surrendering, towards prayerfulness, towards experiencing uh, Paramashiva and ultimately towards Guru. Guru is the, Swanji was saying, Guru is the, is the doorway to Paramashiva. When you have, uh, when you build and restore your integrity with you by having integrity with Guru, Guru is gonna be, is like a wake-up call. Guru is there in your life to wake you up so that you realize that, oh my God, I have to reintegrate myself with myself. So in the presence of Guru, in the remembrance of Guru, you're constantly cherishing this, I have to reintegrate myself, this thought current. And this thought current is liberating you from karmas. So that is why uh, Guru is the most important tool in order to experience enlightenment. It is extremely, extremely difficult. And I believe very, very, very rarely, rare are the beings who experience enlightenment without a physical Guru. With the physical guru, enlightenment becomes very easy because uh, a physical guru is easy to relate to. So there is less space for uh, confusion, there is less space for uh, delusion. So guru, guru is very important because of that and that is why uh, Sanatana Dharma Hinduism um, has a very big place for guru. Actually Shiva reveals in the in, uh, in some slokas that uh, Guru is the, is the ultimate tattwa. Is the, there's 36 tattwas which are responsible for the functioning of the universe. And the first tattwa, the number one tattwa, is the Guru tattwa. So surrendering to Guru should be the purpose of everything we do. We should seek that uh, blessing in our life in order to drop our ego, our powerless identity, like I shared in a previous video, uh, the party of powerless cognitions that we that we cherish inside of us uh, with more or less awareness and, uh, and, and experience the pure space uh, which is our original nature but which we have forgotten because of the layers and layers and layers of delusion which we have created for ourselves um, in all the years and all the lives that we have gone through. Guru Tattva makes you realize real God. Till then, you will not even have the right cognition about God. Guru Tattva is respected and revered in Sanatana Hindu Dharma far more than any idea of God. The highest idea of God is given the seat of third eye. But Sahasrara, the crown center, is given to Guru Tattva. In Sanatana Hindu Dharma, the highest God you can experience is given third eye, means Anya Chakra. But the Guru, Guru Tattva is given Sahasrara. So understand, Hinduism itself is Guru Sampradaya. So God is not violent. God is not aggressive. God will not intervene. Paramashiva, I should say Paramashiva because God leads to perhaps some other understanding. One of the two main things which separate the very concept of God with the reality of Paramashiva, which is the delusion and liberation part. God is only known as the creator, susten sus uh, sustainer and uh, destruction, destruction uh, destructor. And Paramashiva does the creation, the sustenance, the destruction. But destruction, be very clear, should be understood as rejuvenation, not destructive, not destructive because of life negativity destructive because life positivity which is not really destruction it's more like a rejuvenation uh, changing you know uh, something and then you have pulling out of delusion and liberation so the delusion we are creating it for ourselves because of the power we got of uh, the freedom to create but uh, when we are realizing that we are creating things that uh, we are no longer in control of our creation because we are not established in a space of pure awareness then we want to come back to a space of pure awareness and for that we invoke Paramashiva, we surrender to Guru and we allow him to pull us out of the delusion 
and then reach the uh, liberation, which is the last component of Paramashiva. So these two components of pulling out of delusion and liberation do not exist in Abrahamic religions. And that is why, um, that is why, as far as I can see, that is why there's so much aggressivity. Uh, there's so much, uh, it is very aggressive nature in uh, the people who are uh, strongly involved and impacted in these thought currents because they are not even aware that delusion exists that very knowledge is not even uh, cognized by them so the first thing that needs to happen is we need to realize uh, and this knowledge needs to be transferred and that is where hindus um, have a responsibility towards humanity to share this knowledge this knowledge has been gifted to hindus through the various scriptures and it is the responsibility of those who receive this knowledge to share it with other beings because end of the day the purpose of having a human body is to reach liberation is to realize your space of paramashivam the space of paramashivam so one the idea of one is a cult this idea of one is a very exclusive one exclude everything else which is a very aggressive very violent uh, space, very violent context. Paramashiva is not one, is oneness, all-inclusive, all-pervading, everywhere, exists within everything, accepts everything. Of course, it has to be life positive. Any form of life negativity will be facing the ferociousness of Paramashiva in various forms and will be uh, dispelled and removed. But um, as when somebody is life positive, then a coexistence. Actually, we cannot coexist unless we are cherishing life positive cognitions. So cherishing life positive cognitions is mandatory and Hinduism is there for to teach us, to show us how to live and coexist by aligning to uh, powerful cognitions, life positive cognitions. Ahimsa paramo dharmaha. Non-violence is the ultimate dharma. So, Non-violence means life-positive cognitions, powerful cognitions. Somebody who is powerful never wants to hurt anything around him or her. Powerful cognitions give you peace. It gives you serenity. It gives you bliss. It gives you fulfillment. Then you don't have, you don't feel like you want to conquer something or take over something. or These things are not there. Of course, if any form of ignorance is brought in front of you, you know, in the space of Kalabharava, the ferociousness will come and dispel this ignorance. But once the ignorance is dispelled, that's it. There's no vengeance behind it. There's no desire to conquer. It's just uh, when ignorance is there, ignorance has to be removed. Once ignorance is removed, then we continue to experience higher and higher levels of bliss and fulfillment. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Uh, this is, these are some of the clicks I got regarding what Swamji shared and uh, the kinds of comments I receive on social media and uh, the, the space of aggress the, that aggressive space in which people are and they just feel you know they have to jump and, and attack and, um, and yeah and as Hindus we have to share this knowledge because this knowledge will dispel the ignorance which is the source of this uh, aggressive nature which is not uh, how humans uh, are supposed to live when they live the cosmic principles so uh, if you have any comments anything you want to share regarding this or perhaps different kinds of comments you receive if you're on social media which are aggressive in nature or perhaps violent if you have any questions perhaps you can share and I'll uh, do my best to uh, share whatever cognitions I got from Swamiji and from uh, the manana that uh, that Swamiji has infused in me since uh, since I am with him and um, with that being said don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon to know when I upload I basically upload every three days um, so stay tuned for that and uh, follow me on other platforms I upload on various on a regular basis on uh, Twitter Instagram and TikTok so uh, check me out at uh, Kailasha's sacred ash Kailasha's Kaila, Kailasas underscore sacred underscore ash that is the name I use on these platforms uh, you can also find me if you type shri.ashutosha but uh, yes so let's enrich let's share 
uh, these powerful cognitions. Let's give the knowledge to people so that people can live a life with more nonviolence and less powerless cognitions. Ahimsa Paramo Dharma. So uh, thank you very much again for watching. Please share with your friends and uh, let this knowledge be shared with as many people as possible. Let people find Swamiji and Hinduism and Kailasa, the only and the greatest Hindu nation available today for you. So thank you very much again. Nityananda.